And KG, everywhere you go, doesn't it seem like places are short staffed and people are just wiped out and overworked? Yeah, of course, some folks are looking forward to a couple of days off for Thanksgiving break, but that's not really enough to help, especially with the December holidays on the horizon. So we're looking at the signs you might be headed for burnout and what you can do about it. That's our featured story at the top of our list. The pandemic forced people to suddenly learn new tools and to work differently. Sorry, you were on mute there. And since then, experts say there's been an explosion of severe burnout among American workers. It got worse, I believe, in the pandemic, just because there were so many other factors that created this kind of perfect storm for burnout. We turn to wellness expert Jennifer Moss, who wrote the book, The Burnout Epidemic, to learn more about how it's impacting people's health. First off, why should we care about burnout? The International Labor Organization and the World Health Organization added burnout to its international classification of diseases. It can lead to depression, anxiety, gastrointestinal health becomes poor. I mean, we're getting headaches and chronic pain. So it's important to get a handle on it before it spirals into something serious like deep depression. She has some ways to tell if you're experiencing signs of burnout. First, exhaustion. Depletion, that feeling like you can't get motivated in the morning to get up to work, you're exhausted by the end of the day. Next, lack of connection. We feel like we're not doing a very good job in the role that we used to feel like we were really good at. Maybe we're questioning our skills, we don't feel valued. And she says the last sign you're experiencing burnout is that you have negative feelings about your job. The cynicism piece, that hopelessness piece, has risen so much over the last couple of years, and that's why I think we're seeing people hit the wall, because they're feeling like they can't change anything. But not all hope is lost. Here's how to fix it. Every single week, write down how often you felt any of those signs of burnout and watch over time, are they getting worse? And if they are, talk to your boss. So if we're feeling any of those symptoms two or three times per week and we're seeing that happen over time, over months, then we're probably at risk of serious burnout and we should be getting some support and help to manage it. She suggests getting professional counseling if your workplace offers it and also see if your work schedule can be adjusted. We need to spend a couple weeks documenting how often we get sidetracked with meetings. I mean, the meeting fatigue is so high. We have 252% more Teams meetings in the last year. She recommends talking to your boss about inefficient tasks. And creating a culture where people can politely decline meetings. And make sure you're properly trained. How often are we getting off course with urgent needs versus priority needs? How often are we doing work that we're doing inefficiently because we don't have proper training? Finally, I'll Outside of work hours, nobody should be bugging you. We need to have a right to disconnect. There's laws now being put in place where it's illegal, it's unlawful for employers to reach you after work hours. This is a serious issue that we need to address in a very serious way. Snuffing out burnout is at the top of the list.